Anyone else getting a little bit bored of vanilla 7 days to die? It's been almost a year since the last major content update. Well, I've been looking for modlets to spice up my game. And this first one is Z10 City's unnecessarily beautiful but immersive. Before we get into that, be sure to hit that like button. Not only will that improve the performance of the video for my benefit, you're also helping the mod author by showing their great mod to more people. Oh, and consider subscribing if you enjoy today's video. Now before you panic about how to search the name of this mod in Nexus Mods, you can just search for UBBI. If you, like me, have brain rot and cannot spell unnecessarily, exhibit A and B from this script, UBBI is a lot easier to search. But what is UBBI? UBBI is an immersive interior design mod that adds 235 interior design items for you to add to your home in 7 days to die. From kitchen appliances to decorative balls, from lovely sushi dinners to working showers. If you like comfortable, clean and modern interior design, this mod has what you want. And of course the most vital item in the apocalypse, toilet paper. But let's take a closer look at these items, shall we? All the items in this mod can be crafted at a workbench, with the lighting items requiring advanced engineering rank 3 or the basics of electricity schematic to craft. If you want to filter to just the items added by this mod, you can search HN to just find the UBBI items. How helpful. The crafting cost of these items is fairly reasonable, being in line with the base game's wooden and metal furniture requiring things like wood, nails and forged iron, with the occasional electrical or mechanical part. But what can you craft? Let's start with the wooden doors. The wooden doors item can be crafted with wood, nails and mechanical parts, and offers 17 different wooden doors for your home, including a 3 wide double door with an animated keypad, and a nice heavy opening and closing sound. Along with closet doors, good old fashioned interior doors available in white, dark brown, grey and light brown, as well as a double door variant of all of those. That's right, the mod author added double doors to this mod long before the devs added them to the base game. For windows, we have several variants of your standard window with different edges to allow you to make whatever sized or shaped window you would like. Several with more detail than others or others with tinted or white stained glass. Additionally, you'll find a glass door and a glass sliding door along with shower glass and shower doors, both sliding and regular and my personal favourite, the bulletproof mirrored door. As you can see on this side, Mr Teddy gets to comfortably view the world from behind his window. But on the other side, we can just barely see Mr Teddy, allowing Mr Teddy to observe us mere mortals without our knowing. He's waiting for a chance to strike. Do not turn your back on Mr Teddy. Also, it's a door. Know what rhymes with door? That's right, decor. The decor block allows you to place 14 different decorative items in your home. We have the decorative jars, the two variants of decorative balls, the sushi dinner, Mr. Teddy, three abstract paintings, one definitely not a pride flag but clearly a pride flag, and two of those creepy black and white paintings of buildings that are likely meant to be a reflection of the human condition or something. I don't know, I like the totally not a pride flag myself. Along with a palm plant and a decorative plant, along with a chimney top which actually puffs out smoke for all your chimney needs, or if you want to enter your home like The Undertaker. Speaking of entering your home, let's talk furniture. First up, sofas. The sofa furniture block contains modular sofa blocks available in coffee, white, black and grey, the four primary colours of the modern home. Not much to say about these, they're sofas. You can't sit in this game, so I guess we just stand on them and look down and feel like we're sitting down even though we're already sitting down in real life. And speaking of pretending to do things we're already doing in real life, would you like to sit and look at the 7 days to die menu screen in 7 days to die? Well now you can. With the electronics block. The electronics block offers 4 large screen TVs, 2 of which will show the emergency broadcast system messages, and 2 will show the 7 days to die menu, specifically Alpha 17. 
That's right, the fake PS4 on my 7 Days to Die on my PC has a more up-to-date version of this game than the actual PS4. Speaking of fake PS4s, you can also litter your home with these paperweights with the electronics block, along with a laptop running Windows 10 and a PC monitor with a keyboard and mouse. We also have a doorbell which is the loudest thing in the known universe, along with a sound bar that just plays a siren because it's meant to be with the emergency broadcast. Alright, we have sofas and we have electronics, let's move on to tables and chairs. The tables and chairs blocks can give you 13 different kinds of table, 3 kinds of spinny chairs and 2 kinds of metal chairs and a leather chair. The tables are perfect for putting your sushi and PS4 on. Closely related to tables, we have kitchen cabinets and sinks, which contain a large variety of cabinet and sink blocks in a light wood, dark wood and white colour variation. There's a huge variety of items here, you can really make any kitchen configuration you want here. And once you've done that, you can add various kitchen appliances, including the microwave, fridge, the stove, the small cooktop, the wall oven, a toaster with some lovely toast, and a coffee maker with some mugs. While we have some momentum, let's head into the bathroom with the bathroom furniture item. We have two blindingly white bathtubs, some toothbrushes and soap, toilet paper, a towel, some bathroom cabinets and sinks available in this nice pine colour, and of course the working shower, complete with water effects, sounds and a unique buff. Stepping into the shower will give you a plus 40% stamina regen and plus 5% running speed along with 10 cold resist for 30 minutes. Now this effect is way too strong in my opinion, so much like in real life I'll be avoiding showers, but if you're not too fussed by game balance, you can go ahead and grab a nice warm shower in your brand new bathroom. The only problem is this mod doesn't come with a toilet. The toilets still have the weird apocalyptic look, but hey, you can't have everything. With your shower out of the way, it's time to go outside with the pool furniture. This gives you an outdoor bed, which functions like an actual bedroll. The outdoor chair, three tables and five umbrellas available in blue, green, red, yellow and red and white, as well as pool pieces to build your own pool. Now obviously water is currently terrible, but if this mod ever makes it into Alpha 21, you could see some really nice pools with these blocks. There's also a pool light block available in the lights block. The light block also offers a large ceiling light, ceiling lamps, floor lamps, table lamps, table lamps with tables, and table lamps with tables with table backs, hanging lights, and for some reason the small bathroom sink and shelf. I have no idea why they're in this tab. Finally, the last block as the night draws closer, the bedroom furniture, which offers a large green bed, again this works like a bedroll, a small blue bed, again bedroll, several shelves and nightstands, and a large sheet of glass that does its best to be a mirror in a game that just can't support that. And of course, a modern fireplace. How cosy. And that's it. All the new items you can add to your home with UBBI. The Nexus mod link will be in the description if you want to check it out. I really like this mod, I think it adds a lot to interior design that the game is sorely lacking at the moment, and I really like the modern sleek style, so it really works for me. I give this mod a 9 out of 10, it'll get a 10 out of 10 if they ever decide to add a toilet, because that's all that's missing in my opinion. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by pressing that like button and subscribing for more 7 days to die content like this. If you want to go that extra mile, you can find my Patreon linked in the description. Speaking of which, thank you to my channel members and patrons for making this video possible, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.